हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल क्लिनिकल बायो केमिस्ट्री बाय डॉक्टर पी के प्रभाकर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ए सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर्स ऑन डिफरेंट टेस्ट डिफरेंट बायो केमिकल टेस्ट विच नॉर्मली वी आर यूजिंग द लेबोरेटरी बायो केमिकल लेबोरेटरी सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द बोथ क्वालिटेटिव एंड द क्वान्टिटेटिव टेस्ट सो फर्स्ट वी विल फिनिश द ऑल द क्वालिटेटिव टेस्ट एंड देन विल गो फॉर क्वान्टिटेटिव टेस्ट इन दिस लेक्चर क्वान्टिटेटिव टेस्ट और क्वालिटेटिव टेस्ट वट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इट बोथ introduction of the test uh, the requirement for the test what do we need during the test and what is the principle of the test how we are going to perform it and then uh, what is its clinical significance and finally we will give you some points which needs to be noted during the test so first i'm going to start with the molis test uh, as you know the molis test is the most basic simple test in the biochemistry lab uh, so which normally every lab performs it so first we will know the molis test we are something about the molis test so first uh, molis test it's it, it is based on the basis of the name of some of the scientists the scientist says uh, it was hans molis uh, which was the australian botanist so the test molis test was named on the basis of uh, australian botanist uh, whose name was hans molis and this molis test is the universal test for all the carbohydrates so whatever carbohydrates we are having it is either in the free carbohydrates or it will be in the associated carbohydrate so either it will be monosaccharide it will be disaccharide it will be poly polysaccharide so whatever different types of carbohydrate we are having in wherever in which conditions we are having so it is for positive for all the type of carbohydrates and it is a very sensitive test means almost all the carbohydrates wherever in whatever amount it will be there it will be positive test so then uh, the reagents what we require during the test is uh, we are going to require the test sample means the sample which you are going to test for the test and then we require the molis reagent so we know, we are going to see what is molis reagents so normally molis reagent is composed of 5% alpha naphthol dissolved in ethanol and ethanol will be 95 percent so that is our molis reagent uh, so molis reagent normally we are going to prepare in the labs and then we require sulfuric acid uh, so as you know sulfuric acid is uh, one of the most important dehydrating agent uh, so we require sulfuric agent and then we require dry test tubes uh, which is normally sterilized and we require the test tubes and different pipettes so uh, during the test process the whatever we are going to carbohydrate we are going to use uh, there are sequence of the reaction sequence of the events so when we are having uh, the first reaction which occurs is the dehydration reaction so if you are using a carbohydrate this carbohydrates will be first dehydrated in the presence of sulfuric acid as we know sulfuric acid is one of the most common dehydrating agents it removes three molecule of water and carbohydrates will be converted into a cyclic compounds that is called furfural furfural is a compound which is having roughly this type of structure so this is furfural compound so if you are using pentose sugar or if you are going to use hexose sugar you will have different type of furfural so normally we are calling carbohydrates uh, will be dehydrated in presence of sulfuric acid and it will you will get furfural or furfural derivatives this furfural derivatives or furfural is further going to react with alpha naphthol which is present in your molis reagents and converted into a purple colored complex so in a solution in a test solution wherever we are having carbohydrates in whatever amount in whatever conditions whether it will be associated it will be 
ओनली कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स दिस दो कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स विल बी फर्स्ट कन्वर्टेड इनटू फर्फ्यूरल एंड दिस फर्फ्यूरल इज गोइंग टू रिएक्ट विथ पर्पल रिएक्ट विथ अल्फा नेक्टर एंड गिव्स यू द पर्पल कलर कंपाउंड सो व्हेन पर्पल कलर कंपाउंड इज गोइंग टू फॉर्म इट मींस कार्बोहाइड्रेट इज प्रेजेंट इफ पर्पल कलर कंपाउंड कॉम्प्लेक्स इज नॉट गोइंग टू फॉर्म मींस कार्बोहाइड्रेट इज एब्सेंट सो दिस इज अ क्वालिटेटिव टेस्ट सो वी आर जस्ट गोइंग टू आइडेंटिफाई वी आर गोइंग जस्ट डिटेक्ट द कार्बोहाइड्रेट इज प्रेजेंट और कार्बोहाइड्रेट इज एब्सेंट अब इफ we are having monosaccharide or we are having disaccharide or polysaccharides so normally the reaction rate for monosaccharide is little bit fast and the reaction rate for disaccharide and polysaccharide will be slow so whenever you are going to do same molecule test for monosaccharide disaccharide and polysaccharides so monosaccharide will give you the fast reaction disaccharide and polysaccharide will give you a little bit slow reaction so but it will give you a positive test ab if you are going to use pentose sugar so the if you will use pentose sugar the dehydrated product will be for fuel if you are going to hexose sugar the dehydrated product will be 5 hydroxy methyl furfural so only whenever we are going to use pentose or hexose only the difference will be of this 5 hydroxy methyl rest everything will be the same so we are just going to draw the structures and then we will see how it is dehydrated and how it is going to react so like first we are going to uh, draw the pen so we are going to see the structure first uh, so how what is our uh, structure is c O H C O H H O H H C O H H C H two O H. Now we uh, so there will be three O H group. Uh, water molecule will come out. So this is going to this water molecule is going to react with this one. with this one this is one water molecule from here we are going to get second water molecules so this one along with this one second water molecules and third water molecules we will get from here so this h one h from here and one oxygen from here so total this is in presence of h2 so4 so total three water molecules is coming out and as a result we are going to get that is like this one it will be then we are having double bond okay double bond and h h so this one we can write in this form also this is this oxygen is this oxygen this is our carbon bond like this one this is so it will be uh, here we are having c h o like this group we are having at this position and we are having two double bond this is our furfural compound if we are going to get use hexose sugar so in hexose sugar we are having slightly different slightly different means like we are having c o h c c c c c h2 o h o h h o h o h h h o h h so in this case also this carbon we means this o h reacts with this water so this is one then this reacts with this one 
this is second water molecule and the third water molecule is between this and here here so total three molecule of water is coming out here also in the presence of h2so4 and as a result we are getting is a bond then we are having double bond double bond h everything is same so when we have got for fural in case of pentose sugar that pentose sugar didn't have the ch2oh because this ch2 four fifth ch2oh was involved in the ring formation in case of hexose we are having a one extra carbon and that that is this is this is the extra carbon so this extra carbon is available present there as extra so that's why this is we can write like that one this is our so here we are having cho and here we are having ch2 oh sorry ch2 yes so this is 5 methyl uh, hydroxy methyl for fuel only this is the difference now so uh, in presence of sulfuric acid pentose sugar gave us furfural molecules in case of hexose sugar we have got 5 hydroxy methyl furfural that is the difference between pentose and hexose sugar now one molecule of furfural reacts with two molecule of alpha naphthol how huh? so This is our furfural means we have got either C O H. This is furfural. If I have to write 5 hydroxy methyl furfural, then here I will have CH2OH. This oxygen, this one oxygen, it is having two bonds, and this oxygen reacts with two molecule of. Uh, alpha naphthol. Alpha naphthol's formula is this is two benzene ring. Here we are having OH, and at this place we are having hydrogen. This hydrogen reacts with one bond to one oxygen and another molecules of. So two molecule of alpha naphthol react with these two bonds. So ultimate product what we are getting is here we are having C then we are having O This is this is the colored com this is the com complex what we are getting at the end of the reaction and this OH is going to be converted into ultimately into the double bond OH plus and this compound what this complex which we have got is purple in the color so exactly at the end of the reaction whatever purple color we are going to see that is because of this compound color compound if you are you going to use pentose carbo com, carbo carbohydrates in that case we will not have this ch2h 
if we are having hexose sugar then we are having 5 hydroxy methyl furfural this is the difference now how we are going to perform the test so procedures i will tell you the procedures and then i will show you the how results looks like so during the procedures what we are going to see do how we are going to do uh, we are going to take a test tubes in the test tubes we are going to first put the 2 ml test sample so sample we have taken 2 ml now we are going to add few drop of reagent so we have added in the reagent so here we have added reagents now we are going to tilt the test tubes and with the help of this wall we are going to put 2 ml H2 SO4 sulfuric acid so and then we are going to we are not going to ultimately shake the test tubes so at the end of the results this was our test sample mixed with Morris reagents and this is our H2SO4 so when at this junction we will have a purple color ring formation and ring stone. so if we are having a carbohydrates when we have carbohydrates we have mixed the reagents so alpha naphthol is there carbohydrate is there when we are mixed h2so4 this h2so4 h2so4 dehydrates your carbohydrates so you have got furfural formation here and that furfural is going to react with this alpha naphthol which is present in the molus reagent so ultimately at the junction we are going to have a purple color ring formation if ring formation occurs it means carbohydrate is there if ring does not form it means we don't have carbohydrate so as we are going to see i will show you the, uh, the pictures how it looks like so you can see this picture now there are few points which needs to be remembered so as we are knowing that this is the carbohydrate, the molus test is the basic test for all the carbohydrates. Uh, so it is a common test, it is a universal test for carbohydrates. But there are some compounds which is non-carbohydrate but it gives you the positive test. So those compounds which is non-carbohydrate but gives you the positive test, those compounds are for fuel itself. Some organic acids like formic acid like oxalic acid like lactic acid like citric acid so and some other aldehydes so these are the compound which is non carbohydrate but gives you the positive by molis test uh, if we don't have uh, alpha naphthalene in our labs in place of alpha naphthal we can use resorcinol or we can use thymol these two are also phenolic derivatives which can give can be used in, in the case of when you don't have alpha naphthalene in your labs so this was the Morris test how we are going to perform what we are uh, what are the things so thank you very much hope you have understand and like the video in case you have any query any questions any suggestions write in the comment box if you like the video please press the like button and share it if you are interested in more such videos please subscribe my channel and press the bell button so that you will get the notification whenever I will upload a video. Thank you very much.